Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is going to be another afternoon in Satisfactory. We are going to pick up where we left off on the Wheeljack back doors. We need to finish up some of those designs. A big shout out and thank you to Sammy TV Live for the sub. That's a tier one sub, 17 months in a row. Uh, good morning to you, wherever you are. It's afternoon for me. And Mind Trip Media used 100 bits to uh, lurk and work. Appreciate the work, Mind Trip, and as always, I appreciate the support. There is a hype train on the fringe. If anybody wants to jump in, looks like someone has whole grain oats subbed with Prime. Thanks very much for that, whole grain oats. That's a great username, by the way. <laughs> uh, thanks for using your Prime on me. That's that's very very kind of you. And that kicks off a hype train. We are halfway through level one. Another four minutes and thirty seconds left on the hype train. So if you want to jump in, it's a Prime sub, a Tier 1 sub, or a Gift sub, as well as a uh, donation of 100 bits. We'll get you in on the Hype Train. That will get you uh, a Twitch emote. Depending on how many of those you have collected, you might get a new one. Uh, and I really, really appreciate it. Also, uh, Tier 1 subs and Gift subs will get you three months of Discord Nitro until October 31st, which is Thursday, Halloween. Uh, so you can connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. You can get the Discord Nitro reward. You can also join the Joel Duggan Discord if you've used a Prime, if you've used a Gift Sub, or if you have used your own Tier 1 Sub. Um, so whole grain notes. Make sure you join the Discord. We'll see you in the Discord in between streams. Sweet Sandy with 200 bits. Thanks very much. Good to see you, Sandy. How's Elvis? How's the puppy? Hope everyone's doing well. Am I a little bit loud? I feel like I might be a little bit loud today. We're seeing some red in the meter. Playful, says Sandy. Yeah, I imagine. I've always enjoyed those memes of like, sweet puppy from zero to three months. And then from three months to three years, it's like a pterodactyl or a, a velociraptor. And then like after three years, it's like calm, chill dog <laughs> for the family to enjoy. Uh, sleeping five to six hours each night. That's awesome. It's very, very cool. I'm looking forward to the days when I actually get to own a dog and get my own puppy. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I know it's a lot of work, but I know enough dog owners and have a, a little bit of experience with that to know what to expect. I feel like I've got some people in the, this online community too that I can tap for advice. How was everybody's weekend? I had a great conversation with Johnny the other day on the, the Spawn Chunks podcast. That's available at thespawnchunks.com or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, uh, also on YouTube. I'm still having some problems with my video recording for that show. Uh, this camera streams fine, but OBS on a Mac and recording video is a pain in the butt. I really just cannot seem to get quality video. And uh, I have yet to try to record from, from the PC. The PC's got a better processor, but the background is not as nice. For the shot so i'm struggling to figure out exactly how i'm going to do that in the future the fourth puppy for you so you know the struggle yeah i can see that blast jordan says mine for the first three years she just basically wrecked the house we were so tired with her wow what kind of dog do you have blast I think I've mentioned before on stream that I'd be looking to get an American bully. That's what I would want. Originally, I was looking for a pocket bully, but that's when I was looking for a dog for this apartment. If I am not in this apartment, if I'm in a larger place, then I would go for maybe an XL or a standard. But I like the bully breeds. So yeah, we got a new episode of The Spawn Chunks out. I really need to finish up that episode of The Citadel Cafe that Johnny and I did earlier this month. That should be out on the Patreon page for The Citadel Cafe before the end of the month as well. Uh, there are also some uh, changes actually coming, and I should make a note of this here for everyone. Uh, Patreon is making changes to the way that they bill. And so we've already talked about it with The Spawn Chunks patrons, but for The Citadel Cafe, my other podcast, we currently bill on a per episode basis, and that's going to be switching to a monthly basis, probably in the new year, so in 2025. So there's still a couple of months left, um, so I'll be doing a town hall in November, uh, early November probably, to talk to everybody in my Discord about that. Uh, my personal Patreon, uh, which is just my name, uh, Joel Duggan at Patreon, 
um, is already on subscription billing. So there won't be any changes to anybody there uh, outside of those that might have subscribed via the iOS app. That's the only thing that you might see. Uh, but I'll cover all that in town hall. Uh, essentially, Apple is charging Patreon extra to be on the app. Uh, and Patreon is changing the way that they bill in order to accommodate that and then passing that down to creators. So we have to change the way that we bill our communities, which is frustrating, but it's, you know, when you're part of a platform and the platform changes, that's kind of the way it goes. Uh, it's a mixed breed, a foo. I'm not sure how to say that. A Ridgeback and German Shepherd. Foo Ridgeback and German Shepherd. Interesting. The only reason she doesn't destroy things anymore is practically she's overstuffed. So now she's lazy. <laughs> Weigh your dog down. Save your save your belongings, right? That's a lot of dog to take care of. Um yeah, German Shepherds are and Ridgebacks are big breeds. Yeah, uh, XL bullies are pretty big too. I, they hit 100 pounds sometimes. That mix has a lot of energy in one body. That's what I like about the bully breeds is that they have short bursts of energy. You don't have to walk them or run them for days. I mean, all dogs are puppies and all dogs have energy to a certain level. Um, but it's uh, not quite as as rough. Uh, thanks again for that hype train, folks. I really appreciate it. What a great way to kick off the stream. We went through um, most of the way um, at level one, 65%. Really, really appreciate it. So let's jump into the latest save. I was taking screenshots when I logged out the other day and I have a door design that I like for the back door. So we're going to mimic that because I made an error on the other side uh, when I placed the first wall here. I didn't, the foundations don't touch. So I left this silly little gap. Um, so that is unfortunately not what I want. Um, the shape of the door is pretty good, but I'm not a fan of that gap. And I don't like the this section here that sticks through. So what I did was I took a stab at this side and I did it properly. And I raised the little green stripe. I added in a little thickness here. Uh, and I think it looks a lot better. I also added a couple lights on the outside, which I think works really well. So we're just going to copy this design and move it over. So it's got one and a half. And then these are in line with the edge there. And it's one meter above. So I'm just going to delete the other one entirely. And we'll start over. This should not take too long. So we've got that right. It's this stuff that has to go. should be a good place to start. Uh, we can then just jump in with half meters. No, this, that. check this again. M, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Right, so one and then two and then the two meters on top of that. Yeah. There'll be a little bit of back and forth here.
really wish you could have more. I should do more foundations in like a tab here. So one, use these the most. I feel like this is, yeah, that gives you almost everything. So really what I should do is I should have that on a different hotbar. Be like this one, no, this one would be good because this gives us beams one. We have all the pillars there. So I could put one, two, I don't need four, but what I would want is three and then four. Should help. That should fit snugly in there. So that was the problem is that they weren't touching and now they've got that sorted, right? Oh, and this doesn't do it upside down, so I'll have to do that. I think this side was just this stuff and then that one. To go look to see if that's exactly how it was. How do you apply a paint to the foundations before you're building them? I've been building and then painting. Oh, um, if you go into your menu customizer and then any of your swatches here if you right click you can choose the default and you can change it around so normally concrete structures is this one right concrete foundation but i went down here to my white one and made it this so if i wanted to build everything black i'd click this and i'd case standard and then everything i would make is black the difference is that these swatches here and these swatches across the top if you change them they will change everything in the world that's already built. But this one, you can change it as often as you want. And this is like a one time only, but this is like a, uh, a swatch that has a memory. So like if I changed this swatch, this orange and beige in my, in my menu, it would change there in the world without me having to change it. So just be aware of that before you start messing with stuff. Oh, no, I went taller. No, I went deeper. That's what it was. Okay. That's fine. So there's two foundations there. Then the pillars. And this doesn't go down as far. Okay. There's two ramps. Oh, no problem, ma'am. Yeah. It's the kind of stuff that they... It's in the menu, but, like, no one says... The game doesn't tell you, hey, right click when you're in there, by the way, you know. Right, that's what I wanted. Uh, that's correct. This is all good. I feel like these had to be two meters. And 
then I need to do the sides. One, two, three, four. And that, how far back is that? It's two. Now why, why does that stick out farther? Does this stick out farther than the other one? The wall does. This wall does not. Wait a second now. Do I have this in the right space? I must. Oh. That's on the top part. I see the difference now. This is only... Um, that's six meters, not eight. I see the tr difference. Make sure that's not cutting into anything in here. A little weird, but it's okay. It's going to be under the stairs. Do we like that? Or should we just make it different? I feel like where this is a different level, we should just make it different. Try it on this side and see if we can make it look better. Make sure that's not causing a problem down here. Nope. Okay. I do find sometimes the problem with this game when you're clipping stuff is that um, you're not sure. Because the pieces are so big, you're not sure what you could be clipping into. So we'll change this to a four meter. Do 
Galara, hello, hello. Asking real questions here. Can you drink from the coffee cup? Yes. And every once in a while it'll clink into the mask. There we go. It's a bottomless cup and it's also non-spillable. Like you can... It's impossible. <laughs> Only it fix it. Fix it first. good now inside I had done a little bit of fancy stuff above the door This is going to line up with the foundation. I think. Or not. How did I do that? I feel like I must have dropped it in a bit. Yeah, okay. I think I put one here? I can't remember. Pretty sure it's three thick. The fact that you can layer the walls like this is a game changer. Yeah, one in the side, one in the middle, and then one on the other side. I really need to clean this up. Alright, I need one more. exactly what's going to happen there.
Now this, I think I covered up with a beam. And that, I don't know what I did. I guess filled it in and added this ramp on top. that go over that side? I don't know. Yes, but then it also had a third row on top of it, and that's red. I'm trying to tie it into this section here. got a part of the roof there. Is that over there? It's not. Do I have the room for that? I must. Right, we're going to have to move some of this temporarily. That's the outside there. The chrome or carbon steel? The chrome. about right. Oh, no, this has got to go down. So how come I can't see... Oh, because it's got stuff layered on top of it. There's two more of those. So there's three of those stacked on top of each other. I really hope this isn't uneven. Yeah, so this is different on this side. Now, does that go to the outside? That's back there, I guess. Okay. Oh, what's happening there? That's not good. I 
And then this has got a layer on top of it. I feel like this could be red very easily. I feel like the red and um, carbon steel goes really well together. Now I don't remember why these are extra thick. I think it's just because I didn't think that far ahead. Or I wanted to have some sort of layer. Fine. a nice end to the red part. I think that looks good. And the reason those pillars are there is to cover up that gap. And then that actually has stuff going on. This is probably going to end up being electrical, I would imagine, because we don't have an electrical part for this part of the build. I wonder if that would be a good spot, actually. I have yet to decide the design the back corners. I think that was one that was on the cross. I think. <laughs> Not finished the back, starting to sound like Kermacraft, yeah. Yep. I did, with this game you get into progress and then sometimes you forget to go back and finish the decorating. Okay, so that that part done. Had some lights on the outside too. They were right on the seam. The lights really help, I find, make it feel like an entrance. There. I think that's where they were. 
horizontally like they should they're, yeah they're in line there but I don't remember how far they were from the door Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. I really like the feeling of finishing a factory and having it be something that you can walk around in and not have to constantly explain no this is temporary and this is sort of done and i'll fix that later and famous last words so i'm trying to like start every stream now with a little bit of final decorating i feel like that's the same i don't think we've missed anything this is obviously going to be different because it's asymmetrical Just the pillars, I need to do the pillars. And this I think is bigger on this side. One, two, three, four. Yeah. The Wormbo, hello, welcome in. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I've got that. Okay, so it's just the pillars then. Yay for finishing all the entrances. Happy for that. This I also need to fix too. never thought about making them different colors. So I had this idea that I would sort of change all the... Like any of these big rocks, I would kind of like highlight them by putting like a special almost like a little nature preserve around them or something that'd be kind of fun get rid of some of these trees but not all of them
I don't know about the carbon steel paint, but fine. Unfortunately, it doesn't leave a very big gap here. Maybe I should close this off a bit. They don't have to be square. That's kind of interesting. Maybe we could just mimic it on the other side. Flashbacks to doing the Megatron um, platforms. are in the way. Probably want to get rid of these guys because of the sound effects too. Uh, Zeno. Now where is your friend? Hide note anywhere? There you are. More tickets for me. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to fill in that corner. We would have to do... Something like that. Good enough for me, I think. Now, if I grab the chainsaw and I do... single mode. Oh, it's not going to let me do that? That's annoying. that one and I'll leave that one and then I'll take this one out that should give us just a little bit more walking space over here yeah sure I don't know why I made this all dark all the way around it. 
Probably looks better. Normal. Sometimes it's odd where you have to aim for the chainsaw. Yeah, I don't know what the hitbox is like on the trees. I think it's all different. I think it's based on where the thickest part of the tree is. Okay, so that's good. This is definitely needing some sort of detail work. And I don't know exactly how we're going to handle that just yet. On this side, it's got some function. Like, it actually has bringing in some stuff, right? I don't know why that's there. That's probably a mistake. Uh, and then this just sort of floats that way. We could connect that down. There's some power happening here. This is not where power goes in the building. This is where power comes upstairs, I think. Yeah. I know it's a bit early, but the sun is going down and my puppy needs to go out and have some playtime. Uh, thanks very much, Sandy. It's all good. I started the stream right at 1 o'clock. Yeah, when the sun goes down, I'll take a break. Um, I've been up for 52 minutes now. So yes, I have not really sorted out what we're going to do for the design here. I think the best thing to do is just give myself a clean slate. There probably should be some sort of window. We've got the window on the back. I could try and run that all the way around. That could be kind of fun. What would that look like over here? Oh, that would that would line up with the edge. That won't work. That won't work. Um, yeah, a window here may not be a good idea. It might not be a bad idea to have a skylight up here. little recessed I, I like that that works so I continued the green stripe where I could and I added this detail and that is the green stripe is right above the door that connects I'll put a clean slate on this side too, so we know what to expect. Yeah, so I tried to continue the green stripe. is on this level. To figure that out. Uh, this could probably continue as well. Might be kind of fun to get that up above the door. That's the inside, I think. Yeah. like we could probably work with that cool uh time for break i haven't seen the train so we'll just make one
Folks, if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to uh, reheat my coffee, grab a little bit of a stretch. You should too. Maybe tell a friend that we're streaming. I'm always trying to grow the channel, and I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
All right, let's get out of self-drive mode here. Everything in this area is starting to look pretty good. Minus the train station. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks, Dan. Dan, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Jay Christ, good to see you. We are indeed having a good day. Things are happening. Decorations are decorating. I'm missing one of those. Right, so this side has this happening, and then these two bits, and that's really it. The green line goes right from here, and then this can actually connects to the wall. I don't know if I do that on the other side. I feel like there's an indent where I don't think there needs to be one. Yeah, I come straight down on the other side. So I don't think that needs to be there. So that will put this right up a line with that. What I don't understand is how I got that on the inside on the other side. I must have been messing around with the depth on the wall. Oh no. Okay. I see how I did it. I gotcha. And then this is steel foundation and then that's just another wall. Okay. Well, we'll mimic that and see, uh, so one, two, three, four, five. When in doubt, just mirror what I've got and at least it'll look like a finished thought, right? I'm gonna make this available for people to download on Patreon. Ah, this should be pretty easy then. That's a glass floor. connect and then this was green that is on its own I think on the other side one two three four uh, yeah world download I'm going to offer, I'm going to go back and grab like a couple different ones. Like I've got 50 saves or 55 saves, I think now. Mm. Yeah, 52, 53. So I was thinking about grabbing at least maybe the start of the month. So like the end of September and then the end of October. So people could like see the progress oh it is covered up oh but it goes above that that's weird one two three four five oh boo subscribing at tier one 34 months coming up on three years oh boo that's amazing thank you so much very very kind of you yeah, so this is above the thing. Why is it? Ab oh, because I made this different, didn't I? Yeah. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Is that how I did it? Right, so I'll have to change this. That feels right. Feels a little bit weird. I don't know why I decided to drop it like that. If anything, what should happen is more like this. that actually I think I prefer this going the other way Yeah, and then maybe we'll do... Oh, that's the edge. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. It's better. I feel like that frames the door a little bit better. We also have this black line going through here that we don't have there. And that's because of the edge of that roof. Don't really have anything I can put there. And all that is under under the, the wall here. Now, why is that upside down? Okay, so then this needs some walls inside. I don't know whether this is going to go right up to the roof. What do I do over here? That's just an empty open space. be a good spot to take some power up and down I think and then maybe in the back corner we would have some sort of staircase that would come down I think I did something very similar over here uh, 
Oh, right, that pokes in too far. So it's a ramp and then some stairs because it's six meters. Gets me where I want to be. That's good. Uh, I don't know about the glass floor there. That might not be needed. Maybe I can get away with half foundation. This could probably be a full foundation. As long as it looks good outside. Sure, I might even fill that in. Uh, and then this, that's the green part from the outside. Can't remember whether that shows on the outside or not. It does. Uh, I obviously could not decide if I was going to bring that all the way around. Probably because I couldn't figure out how to reconcile this stuff. Yeah. I remember that now. That's annoying. And what's that? That's... That's not the end of the world to see the black there. I wonder if I could split those up. If I made this into two foundations. Then I can color the back one. And then that me that feels more intentional. to do something about that. I don't want to reduce my ceiling, so we'll do probably carbon steel there too.
That's all right. It's not bad. It just it doesn't look supportive, but it's not terrible. Right, so then we do... We do want to continue... I don't know, do we want to continue this down? Don't know... Probably would be a good idea. I wonder if we should maybe take it up a little bit here. I like the idea of exposing these um, concrete bits. we brought it up higher. And then it wouldn't compete with this. Oh, I missed a spot here. Oh, that goes all the way out there, and that's wrong. I think that works out a little bit better. Just have to add the other part in here. It's really hard to get these things to line up, unfortunately. Is that going to look funny inside with this green line being higher in the back? No, it shouldn't be a big deal. We can just do this again. And maybe the whole thing is two blocks tall back here. Although that, may, that might mess up the outside. do that. Let's, um, hmm. I 
Do I even want it up that high? Maybe we choose a different kind of window. I think I built this before I had these windows. Maybe we make the whole window green. That looks terrible. I wonder if we just end it like that. What do we do for this though? Do we do just a white with a window? We've used either clear panes for skylights or we've used those hexagonal ones. What did I use in the back? Loki, welcome back. Right. It's all very plain. Might be worth actually having the different windows down here. And yeah, I think I like the double... I like the stripe there. Oh no, wait. That's supposed to be carbon steel. I think actually that looks better. Does that poke into the floor? Nope. Okay. I guess in here we could just have this be the bottom layer and keep it green. Or we could um, tie it together with um, carbon steel. Carbon steel wins. Unfortunately, I don't really know many ways to get around that other than putting in a beam on the corner. I guess we could just eliminate that one. have that weird thing. Hmm. That overlaps on the outside, I think, doesn't it? Oh, no, that's the inside. Okay, that's just the stairs. That's fine, then. Oh, 
looks pretty intentional. Now, I don't know about those. I'm probably more concerned about those from the outside than I am the inside. And I feel like we're going to need some sort of um, ramp here. I feel like that makes the most sense, which means we don't need that third window in here. Oh yes, we do. But then how we've done this makes sense. And then we can paint this whatever color we want. a little bit like a checker pattern. I'm not a fan. And I think structurally we need a little bit more support inside and maybe that'll just be what happens in between here. Now I have not actually done any lighting so maybe I should think about how this is going to look. There should probably be some lights behind that. Yes. Let's do that first. I'm assuming we'll have one in the middle. Just here. only one meter so that's not going to be recessed at all we can probably hide those mostly with a beam Probably put one. Oh, these aren't even. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the space, not the machines. Probably good. We can always add more if we want. Now, will that... Yeah, see, that would interfere if I put these up here. That's why I wanted to check. I 
I think that'll work. Oh yeah, that's cool. I imagine we'll make it blue. And that's what I'm thinking we might put in here. this set up to be the right color. Probably too bright. They show up as the right color. This is a bit intense. So we'll take that down. Usually I find around 25 to 30% is usually good. Can you type this in? Yes. Not as bright on the floor. Still get the glow. We'll know more by nighttime. Cool. So that's part of the plan. So I think that this is going to be our electrical room. very well uh, for probably this side I feel like the other side's already done it's already downstairs oh thanks Dan now this is outside space as is that so it's probably best to either close this off or give it like an opening Basically, I can start to bring this stuff in, and then this could be... How do I want to run those? That should be coming up from under... Well, no, I can't bring it up from underneath there. So across the top of the door is probably how that's going to go. It means it probably is going to need to be on a beam. could run it closer to the ceiling coming through here probably the better idea because this is how all this is powered although this is all supposed to be temporary I do want to have some sort of like structure along there I could bring that up through the bottom I think yeah we could probably use the pillar
Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'll do that. So... Oh, that's in here. Crap. Okay. Well, that makes things more complicated. For now, I guess we'll go over the door. And that's outside. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd say this is what's going to happen. We'll shore that up afterwards, then this can go, this can go, and then we just have to get it from downstairs up, and that should not be a problem. Out of curiosity, does this look... Oh, that's the outside. Okay. Um, I could try one of the ones with a hole in it. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that won't work. Not right there. Okay. Um, let's I'll bring it over to here. And we'll use a beam. That's what I would want to do. That's just... Oh, that's outside. Crap. Might not be able to do that. 
Okay, so you can't see it. The little one's fine. And then we just need to move this and we'll have... So this is not the circuit breaker for the whole thing. That's at a different level. Because the power comes in the building at the bottom. Exit this building there. I really wish there was a better way to do that. I always feel kind of hamstrung by those designs. Uh, I'll put... This is only really going to connect to these anyway. I don't really need a breaker in here, so we'll just use the, the um, light control. That's not connected downstairs. No. Uh, how was I doing this? Oh, well, that's weird. Uh, I guess that's a strange decision. Let's fix that. Let's go along here. to that one. So how are we going to power that? I need to move that, I think. I feel like maybe that could come out of the back. Yeah. We'll stick that maybe on that one. Good. So we can get rid of this and that and that. feels a little bit strange, but 
not much I can do about that. I guess I could also maybe just put like a beam connector on the top of it. As long as that doesn't show up outside. Uh, of course it does. It's annoying. Maybe if I move it down. Just remove the beam. Now there's where I wish I had an undo button. Shouldn't be inside. There we go. Okay. Cool. That takes care of that. Oh. And then the beam will cover up. The green, I think. Oh, I've got those on orange. Yeah. It's cool at sunset. Kind of doubles down on the orange light coming in. put it there. That's annoying. Huh. Well then. Oh, well that doesn't need to be there at all. Never mind. And time for me to take another break. Cool. Oh, giant hole. Looks like we're building our own train again. That works out well, Sandy. Cool. Once again, folks, I just need a short break. I will be back in just a few minutes.
let's not go away angry. Try to get off here before we get too far away. Maybe I'll just reverse. There we go. I don't know why their train doesn't render in. It's weird. I was also thinking that I have not refilled our uh, bauxite. I imagine that probably needs some love. Looks like it's all stalled, yeah. He is still up there. What are we doing for coal? Still good. Copper? Probably still good. Yep. Bauxite is really something we go through a lot of. Might be worth putting another bin on top of that, too. Big head face. Hello, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, I don't know if I wanted to keep those or not. I think we're just going to get rid of those. Weird. What's happening there? This will have to be... I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Did I come in halfway? Not quite. That's a different level, I guess. Yeah, it's a different level. Okay. I think that tracks. Now, how am I going to fix the back here? Interesting.
That's just a single, and then that was black behind it. Or carbon steel, probably. That probably means that inside I hit it behind green more than likely. Oh, I didn't. Huh. We'll do that. Still orange. Needs to be blue. Oh, I forgot to look at them at night. Remind me before I go on my next break. That'll help light up to the floor below too, which is nice. Doesn't quite line up. It's too bad. That looked weird. Yeah, I think that still works. I maybe, yeah, I guess I'll leave that like that. Uh, this is no longer connected to anything. I guess we'll just do railings. White looks better. I, 
wish that the ramp would actually work with the wall. I really, that doesn't make any sense. Hey, penguin dude. Listening while running errands. Well, thanks very much. That's kind of you. Outside. Yeah, it's a weird use of space, but it's done. Uh, and now I just need to tidy up the lighting up here. We'll probably do a beam and probably have to do it from the center, be my guess. I'd love for that to go down just a little bit farther. Oh, that was good. Ish. I think what I need is this. Yeah, that's what I want. to send that all the way to there. And maybe we'll move this. Oh, does that cover it up completely? That might not be what I wanted. Yeah, I still wanted to see it. Um, can I go halfway up? That's what I want. To there. And
And then we'll just go from here to there for now. That's going to be the puzzle to solve is the getting the temporary machines powered. I feel like we're going to need extra nodes. I do sometimes get a little seasick with the, the floatiness of the um, the hover pack. So we can still see it, but at least it's tucked out of the way. I'm not really going to be back here that much anyway. Okay. So I feel like that tidies up the inside of this back corner pretty well. Now we just have to do the other corner. So this was a room. I don't want to close that off necessarily. Maybe we'll just go straight down with that. here as well. That was white. So this was almost there. This is the, going to be the tricky part though. I handle that on the other side I think you can hover faster than you can walk well that just went up straight because it doesn't show up right and then straight walls. Oh yes, I remember that now. 
Right, so this is how we get the power to the miner outside. But we should do that along this. This has got a cable there. So rather than sending it out that way, although that is nice and tidy. How does this look if I put a node here? I feel like it drooped too much, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite look. Zero, T666, thank you ever so much for 16 months of subscription, tier one. Don't forget to connect your Discord and your Twitch and redeem your Discord Nitro. You can do bang Nitro in chat for some details. There's uh, three months of free Discord Nitro with Twitch tier one subs and Prime subs, gift subs as well. Is it Prime? I can't remember whether Prime is included. I know gift subs, no, Prime is not included. Gift subs and tier one. Gift subs and tier one. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep this. I'll just move it down so it's in a better position. Uh, where did we put the other one? Unfortunately, some of the practical stuff is right in between the two. Some of the practical stuff you have to do is um, so yeah, right there. It just it's necessary, and it just often does not look very good. I think I like our custom power signs on the other factory better too. Now that can just be connected to there. You're still powered, you're still powered. And then this other one was going upstairs. Where was that going? Nowhere must have been the old connection. good. And then this is what was powering everything up here. Where are you connected to now? Oh, you're still connected there. How are you connected? 
one of four. I don't know. I don't know how everything upstairs is getting power. That's still online. Wonder why it's yellow. Oh no, it's good. That's why. It's pulling power from somewhere, but it's off the grid. I've disconnected it somehow. There's the big grid. I thought our main was higher. Uh, I need to reconnect this. We want to go upstairs. I don't want to do it through a hole, I don't think. Although this is so temporary up here right now that maybe this isn't the best way to think about it. Let's... We do have power going along here. It could go up there in the corner. I don't think we need those anymore. Maybe bringing the power in the corner would be a good idea. I could bring it across with the light switch. I do like the idea of having little holes to fly through though. It would make more sense to try to bring it up from downstairs though. That's all outside space, so it would have to be here. No, I guess we'll just do it here. Yeah, and then we'll just do a pull, I guess, in the corner. Oh, that's annoying. I think that's going to be too thick, but we'll have to see.
I did it again. My uh, criticism of the order of operations is definitely still top. Right, so that means I can connect or disconnect this. And that should put us all connected back into the main booster grid. Which means that out here we should now still be back on... Yes, 3200, that's what I want. Okay, good. Fixed. And that is, yeah, that's the wrong. Now I have to use the actual door. All right, so this is still a mess, but that's not my focus right now. It's just the downstairs that I wanted to mess with. I like that though, that's cool. We could even recess that. We could have it be like midway. I don't know if the awesome sink is staying there. That we have like a bit of a recess from the inside and the outside. Yes. I like it. Definitely brings in some light. Again, this is probably not staying there. Good, good. I think that tidies up this side. Feeling pretty good about that. Access to down here. So the only other thing that I would like to change about the back from a logistics standpoint is we've got coal coming out here. But the coal is coming like from over there and it goes all the way around and there's no need of it. We could probably bring the coal in straight in through here. I'd imagine here would be a good spot. Right underneath the stairs. Can bring it right along here. Um, that would probably be the easiest thing. differently on this side. That is outside. Okay. That's probably the nicest solution. I 
I wonder if that's outside. It's not. What's that? Th oh, that's the... That's a frustrating. So much for that. Thought it was cool. That is definitely outside. That just looks terrible. That's too bad. Don't go all the way down. Does it work? Works for me. It's a really tiny little thing. really solves the problem. I just don't know about this. I guess it's okay. It's upside down. That's better. Yeah, let's just do that. What was it that you said the other day, Sandy? Somewhere to put your flowers? <laughs> I am feeling like this is less of a forgotten area. It has a little bit more going on. Still a little bit empty on the back. I'll worry about that stuff next time. So I want to move on and start doing a little bit more um, logistics and things on whatever's next. Because right now, we don't have... We've got... Um, Copper sheets coming in manually, which, yeah, we're good there. Everything else is being sorted. All of this stuff is manual. So we are currently going to update my signs. So. Hmm. 
We are not making AI limiters. We are making circuit boards. I feel like this should be over there. Then here we've got Sunstreaker, and that's doing um, plastic. circuit boards and computers, but AI limiters and quartz. So, not making AI limiters, quartz crystal. Silica is manual right now. Modular engines, computers. Nope, computers are not manual. Not making modular engines anymore. Crystal oscillators. We're also doing... Sheets and casing. The most important part of the building is where to put flowers. Whoa, what's going on here? Why are you not happy? You're not getting enough steel. That's interesting. wonder why that is. Hmm. I wonder if there's a belt screw up somewhere. Oh, I wonder if my... Did I unhook any steel? Aha! He's not powered, that's why. Oh, I deleted one of the nodes that probably was his, um... Yeah, it was off of his, uh... His backside here, that's what it was. That goes right next to the thing. Hard to remember where you've done the power through the floor. There we go. Okay, good. The downside of hiding power cables, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Cool. Everything else seems to be going like clockwork, so that's good. I don't like that you can see the wires. I really wish... I had another way of doing that. I don't like that you have to power the lights like that. Just it's, I really wish that they would give us other options. They went as far as adding endgame teleportation, but not wireless power or power in the floor, which I find very odd. think we're missing anything so we'll go back outside and double check that I have not missed anything out here 
don't know if there's a way around that. How did I handle that on the other side? It probably just doesn't exist. That goes right to the edge. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like all the bits and stuff are done. Yeah, I just, there's little things like this. Why is that so... I guess the other one is on the inside. Yeah. The other one is just on the inside like this. I don't know if I like this little ledge. Do I have it on the other side too? I don't know if I do. So I think I need to work on uh, getting more quartz because we're going to be using a lot more quartz. Yeah, I have that sealed up. I need to unselect this wire. The blue on the floor is really strange. But I feel like it has a uniform thought on the back. Feels pretty symmetrical. We're maybe missing a few bits over here. Just did the three. I'd like to build something off the back of this um, at an angle. Something goes off like that, I think would be cool. here. So this just feels like a weird structural flaw. Uh, so I need to try to figure out how to sort that out. Unfortunately, we don't have any triangle windows, so I'd have to try to figure out how to have this actually work. I might have to put something like this over here. Turn the corner. Don't know. Have not really got that far. The, a wheel jack is definitely more of a wing it and see how it goes situation. Uh, I'm also not crazy about this.
yeah, this is just kind of like a quick sketch. I think I want to create something a little bit more interesting there. I feel like we could have something maybe come off at an angle. Something to kind of mimic his wings. He's got these kind of wing things on his back, which I think are cool. They vary in size depending on the design. And I like the green kind of accent on them. So maybe we'll do something like that. And I'm also wondering if we can tie that in to maybe this. So like instead of being on here, maybe they could be attached to here and quite large. That could be that could be fun. Anyway, looks like it's break time. Where's the train? We have to make one, I guess. Cool. I will be back in just a few minutes, folks. Thanks, as always, for watching. Just need a quick stretch break. You should, too. Grab a snack. Grab a friend. I'll be right back.
All right, let's get this out of self-drive mode. Thanks, Andy. So I'm pretty happy with where Wheeljack is right now. I think that's pretty good. I uh, think the only thing that needs to get sorted is the coal. The limestone's okay. Really not much we can do about that. Maybe we'll add a line here. It's going to be all concrete. What's going on there? All right, so you can see the another, another little oasis here I was thinking about keeping. I don't think I'm going to keep quite that much of it. Did I not just change that? So that's sort of what I want to do. I feel like I might have gone a little bit wide here. Area mode. I want this in single, so we'll leave that one. Makes sense. I might end up deleting the trees later, but for now we'll leave them. Don't think I need this anymore.
So I don't know whether I should move the coal or whether we should think about whatever the next thing is on the list. I know uh, crystal oscillators are going to be a thing. I definitely need to automate quartz crystal and we're not bringing crystal, uh, quartz in from anywhere. It's just going up into the, um, the storage. And when it's full, it just shuts off. I can go grab the silica though. Don't know whether I've emptied my um, quartz truck or not. I should check that too. So silica is a byproduct of aluminum. And so we've got some of that, but not all of it. What are we out of? Probably. Oh, we're out of coal. And that. Okay. Silica, of course, is for windows and other stuff like that. We can probably keep that in a separate container now. Think you need more silica than you make? Uh, probably. Let's put the aluminum in here. Put the silica in there. Thought I saw silica go by, but it was iron. All right, so all of this is still doing temporary stuff. We do have heavy modular frames automated. This was just doing quartz crystals, which I could keep it doing. should do is use the summer sloop though oh where's the summer sloop there it is so i could use another two of those for sure or three of those so sunstreaker is done i can take that off the to-do list This is Mule Jack back. All right. Um, I guess we could go see the quartz is just so far away. I guess there is. Where's crystal silica? Um, AI limiters. What are the other? I feel like there's probably a list. We're making all of that stuff. We're at that stage. We're not making more than a little bit of rubber. I think the Caterium production is... We need to make some permanent quick wire. We've got a very temporary quick wire set up. And that is where the AI limiters come in, I think. And beyond that, we start to get into how to make power. Like we have to do a bigger power plant. And that's where I would just be like, 
time to move back into the Devastator playthrough. That was the case. So rubber. AI limiters. Yeah. AI limiter is probably the next thing. Let's see what we've got for quartz. Hello? Are these bugged again? No. Okay. So we'll go get some more quartz while I'm pondering what to do next. Because that will be a bottleneck quickly, I'm sure, as we start to decorate more things with lights. How are we doing for gas? We're good. Sandy and Cosmic get to watch me drive a pink truck for 10 minutes. I saw that coming, Sandy. <laughs> a mile away. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. Along the river is usually a good sign. Should be right up here. There it is there. Now, I'm hearing something. What is around here? Probably a slug. Mercer Sphere. Hello? Where's the other one? In the lake. <laughs> that sounded like she was underwater. I would love to pick up some more summer sloop while we're out this way. So I'm debating whether I should start putting crystal up into the um, the depot. I feel like that would involve a lot more power.
Uh, it's the right but right mouse button, I think, is what changes the scanner. I think. Oh, you mean like, is there a radial dial? Yeah, that would be good too. I probably forget about that. Uh, I think I go this way. I wish it would work when you're in a truck. Well, that was painless. So yeah, this is why I'm not like super keen on automating quartz is because it's really far away. I'd have to build a train line and I think it's just not quite what I want to do just yet. I got spoiled in my other playthrough. The quartz was a way more convenient located next to a bunch of other stuff. Can I drive through this? Not easily, but yes. here. That will get us a lot of crystal. That's good. That's what I want. So I guess we should look at the quick wire maybe. That is very temporary. also feeling very unfinished here. I think maybe we should do an angle here. This is our quick wire. It is powered, but it's full. And it's just doing quick wire there. So we have a pure node. Man, the wind the wind in your ears noise really makes you feel like you're over treachery and death. Yeah, pure node. And it's only at 18.75% because that's all that this thing can handle. And this thing is doing not even what it should. And then this is full. Maybe I should just go finish the train tracks. Hello, hello. Was this doing AI limiters, I think? Yeah. Not very well. Oh no, that's they're going over here. Oh, I feel like we have enough of those. It's probably fine.
there this was crystal oscillators i think yeah being stored in this at all. I don't even have room for them. I could I could replace the um, concrete because we've got concrete elsewhere. But that would involve taking this output and getting it back down onto the track below, which wouldn't be terribly hard. Honestly, we could probably just hook it up to the motors. Or send it um, onto here. Because it's only making like two a minute or something. One per minute. We could almost start to set up a new production line up here. Just got back from a short vacation, missed about a week of progress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got the Sunstreaker done. We've got the backside of this sort of done. There's still a lot of manual things happening in Wheeljack, but we've got this all tidied up. Little power room. And then the back doors are done. But then also Sunstreaker is also done. It looks like a McDonald's cat. But I'm still saying that it's Sunstreaker. <laughs> I guess this is the only part here that's not really fitting in. Maybe what we can do is um, let's just grab these blueprints. And let's just say I want to make like, I don't know, eight of those. Do I have enough? Iron plates is what I would need. Anything else? I'm good. beams need some concrete as well I think there's definitely some um, parts at the end of this rail that don't look the best. Heard you talking about on the render distance, was looking forward to seeing the McDonald's cat. Yeah, there it is there. It does look pretty cool, I have to admit. It's not quite, I don't look at it and think like Sunstreaker. The colors are right, but it just feels like a random spacey build. It doesn't feel like a Transformer. I feel like the Wheeljack one and the Ironhide one are a little bit closer to the Transformers they're inspired by. So I guess, you know, here's where I don't want to put a lot of work into um, the plastic and the rubber. Because if I decide to merge this playthrough with Devastator, this is where Megatron is. So there's not much point outside of the rail.
Yeah, once you kind of see the cat part, you can't unsee the cat part. Get that out of the way in case the other train comes by. Oh, I need to switch. Right, there was one that needed to happen. That's one done. And then the other ones... Oh, right. I had these ones to do, too. I feel like this is going to be part of a structure. So I'll just slam those in there. Keep this simple. I guess we could try the beam trick. Just not having it, is it? That looks okay. So all I'm doing is going to the middle of the seam on each one. You snap it to the beam, lock it in place, and you do four clicks that way, and four clicks back, and you should be able to connect it. You can either keep or delete the beam, depending on your preference, and then it looks nice and tight. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know how the best way to do this would be. I guess... Probably a single? This just needs a repaint, I guess. And then we'll do something similar here. Where we'll just make this look like it's got some sort of support. I do like angles with a nice flat edge, it just it feels very industrial. And then this nonsense we will remove entirely because that's off the grid. Where's the latest last straight section? Right there. Do the same thing over here. So we'll probably have to put some legs here. going to work out? No. Sometimes it's nice just to do some very simple stuff. Just where I'm going to offer this up as a download on Patreon, I want it to feel at least a little finished. And then I guess we'll just keep the pattern going. Doesn't feel very transformer like, but at least it does not feel like it's going to fall into the ocean. Which is good. Now, here we will put in our little um, floating supports.
that's a temporary track anyway. I'm not too worried about that. Don't know how many segments that is. It looks like it's about the middle. I feel like we can probably get away without having one there. I might just wait until the train's gone by. Does anybody find that sometimes you, you just all of a sudden lose the ability to get height with the hover pack, even though you're at a full charge? I find lately it's just been, you know, like losing its, its um, range vertically sometimes. Delete the tracks. Grab that. Don't know whether this would look good for having two of them next to each other or not. I guess it would make sense to have it on the bend. And this has only got the one leg. Wow. I need this extra line or not. That part done. Right, and then there's this underside here. Um, hmm. You have to press up without any other movement. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm trying to go up while I'm moving around. That's that's possible. That's possible. All right, so might as well just fill this in.
seems like the easiest way to make it look symmetrical. Now this is just a ramp that needs a stand. Oh, that's not right at all. Where is it? Yeah, I think that's what I did before. Cool. So now it just doesn't look like it's floating. That's all solid. This has got a weird thing on it. Maybe the match will do the um what are they called frame foundation <laughs> my brain was going the metal thingy sure this has all got its floating bits on and it's on a box yeah cool I feel happier with where this is at then that's all still temporary so there's no point in decorating it because that's going to get changed up so it's only this part And I guess we can do one more angle here just to make sure that it all looks intentional. Once you learn how to do that, it's it's just insanely easy. It makes a huge difference. And just your stuff looking like it was meant to be there. Cool. Uh, we can take these guys down on the way back.
That will clean up this area too. I don't think I need any of them. Once you get rails, I really find that you start to use the rails for power. Because you're gonna, you're kind of laying two for one. Like you're putting in infrastructure, but then you're also able to move the power around. I may leave some of these. Not the one in the middle of the road. Yeah, I'll leave that one as it is. I'll jump back on here. I think there was a slug around here somewhere. I could see it from the train. There it is. There's a copper node right there. Is there anything up here? I think I, that probably was a summer sloop or something that I already got. Don't see any goodies. We are losing the sun. Nothing that I see of an interest on the way back. We've pretty much cleared out all the fun stuff from the area, I think. It's really starting to feel like a city. All the different buildings. Permanent spot for the space elevator would be cool too. Or semi-permanent, I guess. Don't know whether this is the right height. Doesn't look like it. Sort of feels cool. Like we're taking over the landscape a little bit. And this time, I want the area effect on. quite know what we're going to do there, so I'm going to leave that big tree up. But might as well get the free stuff. I think that's showing through. Well, maybe not. Switch to single mode. Yeah, there's definitely a purple hue coming in. 
I gotta wrap things up anyway. Just make for nicer screenshots. Sometimes you don't have to look directly at the tree. I really don't know how to handle this part. Unsure. Whether we're going to go up and over or what. And some of this stuff looks cool and some of this stuff looks very strange. I don't know about the weird drop. Well, I would say that's a pretty decent session of getting all the building stuff kind of checked off. I think the only thing around here that I really want to tidy up is um, this area over here. Maybe have these more aligned with a better design. And tie this together a little bit nicer. And of course, the train station. But the back doors are very cool. I quite like the way that that looks. Really happy with it, the way that turned out. And we've got lights inside now. Not on the main floor, but at least when you're looking down this way, it's got some, some light, which is cool. I like that it's the same color as the main screen there. It's a little bright as a spotlight, but it looks cool back here. And then from behind at night, not that we're back here that often, does have kind of a cool glow. Seeing the blue. I don't really know what else we would do for lights in here. I guess it's just that kind of stuff needs to be put in. The same that we did with, uh, with Sunstreaker. Because Sunstreaker is quite lit up now. So yeah, yeah, I'd like to have something up there too, I think. Um, for the folks that came in, I think Bally came in late and a couple other people came in late. We can go over and check out Sunstreaker. I like that I can just walk there now, which is cool. I might step this rather than just a single ramp it. Uh, but this is um, not much light along here. We do have lights in there. And lights along there. Not that it does much. Actually, I should turn on my um, global illumination just to kind of see what this looks like at night. Ooh. So they do actually give off some decent light. My frame rate drops. This front corridor is going to be dark because we have no lights there. We have no lights in the stairwell. Then up here we've got lights. These are actually brighter than the actual lights on the wall. And this is the floor. This is the main attraction, which I really like. The, the lit uh, manufacturers kind of like casting some shadows and having stuff go into storage and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't look like we're doing much for storage for um, circuit boards. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, we got some. That's cool. Yep, 
Yeah, that's cool. You need to have light stuff to bounce the light off of. So obviously we need some more lights in here. I wonder what Wheeljack looks like inside at night with with the global illumination on because of the the lights on the outside. Like I, I love how bright the lights are on the outside of the walls. Let's go around the front. I like the overview of the belts. Um, yeah, me too. It's hard to tell at night, but there's a lot of red inside too, Bali. Well, that's cool. And see, then these guys actually give off light, right? We would just need to do more of those on either side, I think. It's still very dark because it's mostly skylit. So we would need we would need some lights up here, I think. I'd have to create something to go up there. Some sort of drop light. Maybe we could make it the same shape as this or similar, but then have it be not drop down, but like on the ceiling. That could be cool. This is all still very dark too. We need to have something along here. I don't want to put any lights there. Maybe we need like spotlights. Do I have one above the door? Yeah. It's too bad you can't have lights shine up because it would be very cool if we could have the floor glow because the floor is all glass, right? Yeah, that's cool. I wonder, I don't know what Ironhide looks like inside at night. Just before we lose the moon here. Unfortunately, Ironhide's entrances are behind. Oh, this isn't done either. All the guts with all the little blinky lights are fun. Yeah, very much not lit up in the bowels. Only lit up up here. Feels like a forge, which was the idea. Lots of smoke and black and red. But then, of course, I don't have enough lighting on the ends. I uh, saw a trick where you can gl make things glow in primary colors. Exhibits channel, I believe. Set your swatch to 100. Yeah, that's how I did the white. That's how I did the white um, concrete for Wheeljack. You can make a glowing beam run underneath the floor windows. Does it actually emit light? So these are just, um, the swatch is this one. And you just have to go above one in the secondary color. I thought six was the best option. It looked like it was glowing. And you said it was like 100? I'm curious now. You said make a beam. Is that going to show through? Okay, so that's... Yeah, that's under the glass. And let's just use the temporary color first. Let's just change this to like 100. Mm -mm. I don't think that's showing off any any color. I'll try the other. Hmm. 
Mm. It's just very bright red. Sorry, this is very dark. Get rid of that. And my frames are back, yay. Get out of here. There we go. Nice. All right, folks. That's where I'm going to wrap things up. Let's just see who's uh, who's streaming some satisfactory that I can pass you along to. Just check my Twitch here. Survey says... Um, boop, 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 boop. Captain Erock, Wojess, what are y'all in the mood for? Captain Erock seems like a good time. We've raided him a couple times in the last week. Any objections in the chat? Uh, if you want to go on and, and check out Wojess, uh, she is also a delightful streamer, but I'm going to send you over to Captain Erock. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, Wednesday, 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus three hours until November 3rd, where it will be UTC minus four hours. Uh, I'll be tweeting about that. Uh, if you're in the Discord, I also use timestamps uh, that will readjust to your local uh, time zone. So that should help with stream times as well. Uh, I'm going to be sticking with Satisfactory. I might try the Devastator save tomorrow to see if that crashes, just to test it. Uh, I thought they were going to put out a patch this week. It might have already come out today. I don't know. Um, but if I um, if I can get that save going, then I might be thinking about how to move some of this stuff to the new save. Uh, even just taking some of the building techniques and some of the blueprints that I've got in this save and moving it on. So we'll have to see what I can come up with. Um, but I do think that it's time to get back to the Devastator save. I also need to get back into Minecraft. I'll be uh, adding the Create mod, uh, not to the server, but to a, a single player playthrough. I think that could be fun as well. Uh, nice slow pace for that too. It's nice to learn a new mod pack as well, which would be fun. So uh, you can look forward to that. I'm at Joel Duggan on social media. Very easy to find. There's a new episode of the Spawn Chunks out right now. It's on YouTube and it's on your favorite podcaster app. Uh, excuse the choppy video. I'm still working on how to sort that out. It's got something to do with my OBS record settings on my Mac. So uh, until then, enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your time with Captain Erock. I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now.